Nanny Helen Burroughs, born on May 2, 1879, in Orange, Virginia, was a remarkable figure in American history. The eldest daughter of John and Jenny Burroughs, both formerly enslaved, Nanny grew up in a family with a determination to overcome the challenges they faced during the post-Civil War era. In 1883, Nanny and her mother moved to Washington, D.C., where better opportunities awaited them. Nanny attended M Street High School, where she excelled academically and displayed her leadership skills by organizing the Harriet Beecher Stowe Literary Society. It was during her time at M Street High School that Nanny was introduced to her role models, Anna J. Cooper and Mary Church Terrell, prominent figures in the suffrage and civil rights movements. After graduating with honors in 1896, Nanny sought work as a domestic science teacher in the District of Columbia Public Schools but faced racial discrimination. In 1909, Nanny founded the National Training School for Women and Girls in Washington, D.C., with the objective of providing equal rights and opportunities for African-American women in both education and the workforce. The school initially offered evening classes to women who had limited access to education, but it soon grew into a renowned institution attracting students from across the nation. At the 1900 National Baptist Convention in Virginia, Nanny gained instant fame and recognition for her powerful speech titled, How the Sisters Are Hindered from Helping. She was also actively involved in various organizations such as the Women's Industrial Club, the Daughters of the Round Table, and the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People NAACP. Nanny's work in these organizations helped raise awareness about the challenges faced by African American women and paved the way for future generations. Nanny Helen Burroughs continued her tireless efforts until her death in 1961. Her legacy lives on through the Nanny Helen Burroughs School, which was renamed in her honor in 1964. The school, initially focused on training women and girls, now operates as a co-ed elementary school with a trades hall that has been designated as a National Historic Landmark. Her papers, held at the Manuscript Division in the Library of Congress, embody her remarkable journey and the impact she made on society. That was a glimpse into Nanny Helen Burroughs' life. Comment to suggest new story. Like and follow for more.